Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the Poker Staples channel. Today we are playing some more spinning goes. We're starting at the $30 level, coming off a rough episode yesterday, but I'm hoping that I can turn that around today. So, $30 buy-in, we're gonna register one right now. We can spin up to $300,000, depending on how this all plays out. All right. See what we're playing for here. We're gonna play for a min 60. That's all right. You can't always spin $750. You guys know what I'm saying. There's a pretty good episode last week. Good luck, James. Thanks. Thanks, my friends. Thanks, thanks. Does that deserve the tag? I'm gonna limp it in here with the suited hand. I think friend of the stream tag is earned for saying good lucks. So we're up against more skills from Canada, my Canadian brother, and Vla. 15 from Canada as well. We got a three-way uh, Canadian party here. Three-way Canada party. Min raise, we're gonna call, especially three ways. Bit of 120 on this King 7-5. We're gonna start with a call here with our second pair. Eight on the turn, all right, I believe you now. I believe you. Aces! Oh my God. Aces are pretty good. Uh, we're gonna check with the Jack-4. Obviously not starting great here with our stack, but we can always come back. Let's start with a check and a check on the turn. Let's bluff now. I don't think our jack is gonna win too often. A snap call, and they don't have a king here, so I'm going to overbet because they're never just checking a king twice. So I'm gonna try and get lots of value from an eight or seven, and it works. That is sick. Got a seven to pay us off there. We see the limp. Are we gonna play the deuce eight suited again? Stacks aren't as great for us here. Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. I feel frisky, I'll do it. Let's go, all right, I take it back. Give me my 10 chips back, please. More skills takes one, nice hand, nice hand. We have the ace eight on the button, I'm gonna raise it up. Vla is gonna call, and more skill is gonna snap call as well. See a queen 10-4 with two hearts here. I'm gonna start with a check back and turn a beautiful seven of hearts. Now we have ace high, but we also have the nut flush draw. 40 to win, 160. We need to get our money back one out of five times to break even. Uh, definitely gonna happen. We call and we make our flush. Now can we get paid? And the answer is yes, we can. So let's shove the river. They call with the king, that is very unlucky for Vla. And all of a sudden we started poorly and now we're in the lead with 900 chips of uh, all the ones available. Gonna call the min raise with the jack four, not a great hand, but definitely worth playing uh, for a min raise. Bet with our second pair, the check jam. Oh God, we got a call after we bet. I don't love it though. No, the King Jack Arena, four. Uh, not even a chop, not even a chop. We're down to 622, it hurts. Feels bad, man. Uh, let's raise or limp, limp is fine. We'd love to call a shove if a shove comes in, but it doesn't. King, King, deuce. I bet for value here. I think I had the best hand with ace high. Works out, three, nine suited, sure. Let's raise the suited hand. Another call from Vla, another call from Moore. We're just going multi-way all the time here. We're gonna check back, a lot of good turns for us, right? A spade, a queen, a jack, a nine, or a seven, a six, all give us straight draws. Uh, and we do pick up like a pretty strong draw here on the turn. So I'm gonna bet 70 with our flush draw and straight draw. And it goes full fold, we'll take it back up to 722. We just punt away some chips and then we uh, we chip away, you know? We chip away, we grab some more, we punt away some chips. More skills, limps. I'm just gonna check here with our seven, nine, see if flop is fine with me. Flop three to straight, but uh, we don't have a super strong hand by any means. So we're gonna bet 33. Good turns are like a 10, open in a straight draw. A jack also gives us a straight draw. Uh, we can't really represent aces very well. Still gonna try and bet though. Uh, they call, okay, and now I'm gonna give up because I just don't think they fold the river very often. So eight seven's gonna win, nice hand. Nice hand, a min raise, we're gonna have to fold the 10-4 of hearts, we're back to starting. This has been a real weird spin and go. I don't know if I played brilliantly or terrible, I'm not sure. It's been fun though. <laughs> Ace of clubs, six of diamonds, let's raise it up. Call on the big blind, we see jack 10-3, check back. Ace of clubs is cool, jack in the turn is a great card. Should have the best hand now, and I'm actually gonna bet uh, to protect my hand a little bit when they check. More skills limps. I think I'm gonna shove here, which I wouldn't always do, but I think I'm very far ahead of their limping range. And it's true, they call with seven eight, so like we're just printing money shoving the king eight. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> we're heads up. That was weird, man, why? Why did you do that to me? I mean, thank you, I guess. Uh, we're gonna live with the jack five of hearts. See if flop is fine with me. Ace, ace nine, they leave for 30. Ugh. I peel all my king and queen highs, and obviously all my trip aces and all my nines and all my pairs. 
But Jack High, I feel like we're not quite there. Call with the A3, totally missed the flop. I'm gonna have to give another one up here. So Vla is making a slight comeback here over the last two hands. Don't wanna let them get away with it. Four, five, 10, they min bet for 30, will call with their bottom pair. Nine on the turn is not great, and they bet slightly larger now. So we'll fold. Pocket eights, pocket eights, pocket eights. Shove, yeah. I don't really wanna raise and leave really awkward stacks. So I'm just gonna shove. <laughs> it's a pretty bad flop for us. Uh, we pick up a gutter though, so I'll bet. Pick up a six, we beat a four now. So They lead for 90, whoa, okay. You have a flush draw? You have a flush draw that got there? Seven, eight got there too, all right. Okay, we'll fold. I give cred, such a weird spot to lead there. They had queen seven, they showed the queen seven of uh, a flush, so good fold by us. Let's slip the 7 4. I'm gonna see a flop here at 10 8 5. I am gonna bet a decent amount of backdoor draws for us, but we're not gonna win with the 7 high. We just wanna see a, um, a 9 or a 6 on the river. Is a 6 a straight? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so we have a double gutter here. Not a good barrel card though. Oh, this is not going well. This is not going well. We've been getting punished by Vla over the last, uh, I don't know, 10 hands or something. We'll take one down. We needed that for the confidence, Vla. Thank you. Giving us one there. King three, we limp. We see an ace, deuce four. We're gonna check back. They lead for 40. Definitely gonna call with my king high still. Likely to be the best hand. We see the six of spades in the turn, and this is a beauty turn, because uh, we pick up all sorts of draws. I'm gonna turn my hand into a bluff against twos and fours here. Uh, so I'm gonna raise it up to 160 and shove the river. But they just fold, which is cool, up to 1,020. Because it's kind of hard for them to have an ace there. It's less likely for them to have an ace. And, uh, and we can put a lot of pressure. Even though we shouldn't have very many aces, they don't necessarily know that, so. All right, check on this board. We'll check back with the ace high. We get paid for it on the turn. And let's hope they have a pair and we can get two bets out of them, but they just fold. Didn't have anything. A min raise. They have been telling the truth with the raises, actually. So I'm actually gonna make a knit fold there. Four or five suited. This is a pretty good flop for the four or five suited. I'm just gonna shove here. Try and get them to fold. Snap call by a three. We have 28% though. We're actually doing okay against like the worst case scenario. Because we have an open ender, we can hit an ace or a six to make uh, a straight or diamond diamond. Uh, doesn't work out for this this for us this time though. So on to the next one. Let's keep rolling. Still feel pretty comfortable and confident with my situation in this spin and go. Even though we've been sort of getting owned recently, um, <laughs> I think we're gonna do okay. I'll limp in the 10-5, fold the shove. In one minute, the blinds are going up to 30 and 60 here. But again, we're doing all right. They haven't been raising at all. I'm just gonna shove. They haven't been raising at all. So I'm just gonna play like an unbalanced strategy. I'm gonna call the min raise with the king five. Flop a pair of fives and check raise. Pretty good board for us. Kind of unlikely that they hit these sort of things. So we're gonna check raise with our pair. They have seven, eight. Oh my God, we're dead on the turn. That is the end of the $30 spin and go. We're on a bit of a losing streak here, you guys. We have such a good run but up the hundreds and now we're, uh, we're struggling. But let's see what we can do in our second 30 of the day. Maybe we can make this one work for us. All right, we're gonna play for a min 60 against Sabati from Russia and XC24 from Russia. What was that? Russia, Russia, okay. Canadian, Russia, Russia this time. XC24, decided. Oh, hey, we got a friend of the stream. Uh, we're gonna bet here 48. Good luck, good luck to our friend of the stream. Okay, ace of diamonds, five of diamonds. This is a really good hand. I don't intend to fold. All right, XC24 is thinking it over here. With the added pressure of this video going out on YouTube, that definitely adds some pressure for some people. I don't know if it does for XC, but... Uh, we raise and take it. So we have the ten of spades, seven of clubs. We're gonna fold to the min raise here. Let these two do battle. Okay, raise to 40. We will be calling with the 10 of hearts, 6 of diamonds here. 20 to win 70, I like the odds. Totally missed the flop though. Sabati can uh, can have this one. 
Don't even have any back doors or anything fun that we can do. 4-7. Let's try a little frisky raise here. Sabati won the last hand. So, like, usually people lay down a little easier after they won the last hand. Not all the time, right? If they have aces, like, they're still gonna get all the money in. But I think just, like, add, you know, an extra 5% of hands that they're gonna fold now that they wouldn't have folded if they didn't win the last hand. That's a typical thing I think you see um, with a lot of people. All right, so Ray's gonna call. We see a four, six, seven here. I'm gonna bet, and I think 45 is the size I wanna go, especially because we have a four in our hand and there's a four on the board, you know? It's a trip fours, so I'm saying Zabani. Get a call, and oh my goodness. Look at that. We're gonna bet 85 on the turn. Which will put in, ugh, I kinda don't like my size very much. Okay, actually, no, we're fine. We're gonna be able to shove. But if it was my stack, right, then we should have bet a little bit larger, like 95. But they fold in the turn, we pick it up, and we're up to 648. This is going smoothly again. Blinds are up to 15 and 30 now. We're gonna raise up the Ace of Diamonds, Four of Clubs. Hope to not see a shove, because I think we'd have to fold. But it does go fold, fold, and we take it. King of Clubs, Nine of Hearts. Ooh. Ooh. Not quite. Ooh, A7, though. This is nice. Go for the limp raise. I dig it. I dig it, man. Come on, Sabati. I know you want to, Sabati. No, they don't pull the trigger. Start with the check call with the A7. This is close to wanting to bet or to check. I'm going to start with the check. Maybe at 30. Okay. Let's see a turn, my friend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti. -o. They bet 75. I'm still going to call here, which is wide. Uh, but I think once I play my hand for check in the flop, I should probably still continue with my pair. And then nine on the river is bad. Queen Jack's gonna win. Okay. Uh, on to the next one. A little bit unfortunate there. You can definitely argue a fold on the turn. Uh, ten of diamonds, four clubs. We outie. King of hearts, ten of spades. Sure, I'll limp. I limped last time. This is a hand that plays really well to limp. And if they raise, we call. Um, but they just check. Okay. So we're gonna bet on the flop. Yeah, 36 is a good size. 36. What do you say, Sabati? A fold? That's no fun. All right, Queen Jack suited. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna raise fold to X, so I'm gonna limp. This hand like plays so well post swap that I'm not really worried about limps. Look at this, King nine four with two hearts. Oof, oof. Let's bet on the flop. 43 chips sounds good to me. Would love to see some action here. All right, we do get check raise, and we're gonna shove. Don't wanna see the ace high flush draw. Other than that, we feel pretty fine. Uh, King 10, okay, we have 43% against that hand. Can we win? Yes, we can. Let's go, you guys. We are heads up against X to move our way back up to the 60s to snap the losing streak in the recent spinners. I think we can do it. Uh, I'm gonna shove all in with the pocket fives here. X is gonna fold, okay. The 10 of diamonds, 5 of spades. They shove, we're out of here. King 9. Yeah, we can shove or we can limp. I'm gonna shove just because we've been doing that a bunch. And we flop a king. We get lucky. Can we hold? We are very, very lucky. GGX. Unfortunate you lost with the ace 8. We'll take it though. We are back after the 60s for the last episode of the day. Can we get to the hundreds, man? The, uh, the losing streak has snapped. That's the good news. Let's get some more good news. Let's spin a big one. All right, just 120. That's fine, though. 120 bucks, man. 120 bucks. That's like a solid amount of months. And we're against Santace, who I'm pretty sure is a regular. And then Ash, who I recognize the screen name as well. So I'm not sure on both of them, but we'll see how it plays out. All right, I'm in raise. We're going to fold the four deuce. Ash is, is interested in playing very quickly, and I'm down for that. Uh, go for the limp raise here with the ace five. Yep, the limp shoverino is cool with me. Uh-oh. Well, that, uh... That, um, hmm. I might have punted. I don't know. Ash seemed like the, t tiny, uh, the type of person. Well, let me justify my decision before you guys hate me forever. Um, Ash seemed like the type of person, like, they were interested in just gambling. Like, they snap, snap, and then they snap, raise that one without really thinking about it for a min raise. So I thought the, the limp re-raise was going to be the best pick up the 60 chips. We ran into the eights. We lost. Sorry, please don't kill me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this Spinigo episode. We're going to be starting tomorrow at the 60s, trying to make our way back out of the top, trying to win some more of those big spinners. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. If you guys liked it, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. It would be awesome. And that's going to be it for today. But until next time, we'll see you later.